Alright guys, today I want to talk about computer RAM. And I'm at a little weird angle, so you're going to have my desktop on screen. So I'm going to talk a little bit, then show you guys some ways to test to know if you should add more RAM. Or maybe you should add some faster speed RAM, which is what I'm going to talk a little bit about here. So my laptop here is one stick of 8GB RAM. Now RAM can run by itself or in dual channel with another piece. And it will be a little bit faster with dual channel, so it is better to have two RAMs rather than one. But what you have to remember is the RAM's going to run at the fastest speed of the slowest RAM. It's going to run as fast as the slowest RAM can. So if you add enough speed, uh, a new stick of RAM, like if I was to add another stick of RAM to my laptop, it has one, one free slot. If I put in a faster stick of RAM, it's not going to run any faster. My RAM is 1600 uh, megahertz. If I put in an 1800 megahertz, it would only run at 16. So getting back to this, lots of people ask me, I've built and sold computers for years, they ask me, should I add more RAM? What should I do? So we're going to test here if adding more RAM would actually do anything. In my system, actually, it wouldn't. And in many people's systems, it probably wouldn't. I had lots of people tell me when I bought my laptop, oh, you should get 16 gigs. You need more RAM than 8 gigabytes. The truth is, you really don't. And what I have here is a video editor. This is Magic's video editor. And I have four 1080 by 60 video files. Video editing takes as much or more computer power than any game. It's, it's rendering a video is really hard on the computer. So we're going to go ahead here and start rendering this video in 1080 by 60 and then we're going to open up here our computer monitor. And while this video is rendering, as you can see here it's rendering, let me bring the camera closer. And as we can see here while it's rendering, let me go back to the computer monitor here and even when I'm in my system rendering I'm using less than five gigabytes <laughs> so a four gigabyte stick would be low because I'm using more than four gigs but my eight gigabyte stick is two times as much as I need um, so adding more RAM to a system like this would do absolutely nothing however there is faster RAM my, my computer came with 1600 uh, megahertz RAM See if I can get this camera back. I don't want, it's kind of balancing up here. All right, so my computer came with 1600 megahertz RAM, and um, I could put in, I believe, 1866. If I was put in 1866, that extra 266 megahertz would increase the speed of everything on the computer. But actually adding in 16 gigabytes, another 8 gigabyte stick of the same 1600 megahertz would do nothing, wouldn't increase the speed of anything because I'm not even using my full 8 gigabytes. Having more doesn't mean it's going to be able to do anything better. So if I wanted to speed up the system, the only thing I could do is put in the RAM that the motherboard accepts, the fastest RAM. So I believe that's 1866 and that would raise it. I could swap out my 8 gigabyte stick with just an 1866 gig uh, 8 gigabyte stick and it would be faster. So if you want to make your system faster, it's not always about adding RAM, but check your motherboard. Desktops usually have a wider range than laptops, and you might be able to put in some RAM that's faster, even if you have four gigabytes now. Instead of buying another four gigabytes at the same slow speed, replace your old four gigabyte stick. You have to take it out, remember, your new RAM will be underclocked if you leave that in, and replace it with a new four gigabyte stick of a faster speed, and then you'll notice a computer increase in speed. So just wanted to kind of explain that to you guys and tell you guys also there's lots of uh, utilities online there's that'll check how much you're using just put, type into like Google like uh, how much RAM am I using program and there's tons of them the one I'm using for Intel's it's a uh, Intel extreme tuning utility and it'll tell you as well so that's one you could look up on Google if you want to test it out with an Intel so if you have any questions let me know just wanted to throw this out there because I've had a lot of questions from subscribers and just other people in my life asking me about RAM and upgrading so, have any questions, throw them up down in there in the comments. Have a great day, everyone. See you all later.